It's kind of funny, this part, don't you think? I mean, it's also just insulting. It's insulting. But it's a little both. So, um, Long Wen Bin. Yeah, so the War Chinese uh, foreign ministry spokesman told Sweden that they must respect the religious beliefs of Muslims. So here's the deal. Yeah. Right? yeah. There is some bullshit protest thing that was happening in Sweden where people were trying to like burn the Quran, which is like very disrespectful. Of course. Um, now, that being said, that did not mirror the sentiment of everyone in Sweden, sure. and they tried to shut it down, right? Yeah. Now, there's some rioting and all this kind of stuff. That's besides the point. Mm. The point is that there's religious freedom in Sweden, right? Yes. And because of a handful of extremists, China used that as an opportunity to jump on and say, you need to respect religious rights as they genocide millions of Uyghur Muslims, Muslims in It's Western disgusting China. what they're doing to the Muslims in China. Yeah. You know, they force them to shave their beards. Yeah, they're pork. not allowed to have religious icon you know, like yeah. iconography anywhere. Yeah, they force them to eat pork, force drink them to alcohol. drink alcohol. The, you know, talk about respecting <laughs> religious their beliefs. wives to impregnate them with Han Chinese people. I mean, yeah, this is not... This is like... It's not correct. This is not how you respect the religious Woo! beliefs. So what do you thought, think that is, actually? Oh, you know what that is? That is... <laughs> Yes, and it's perfect because that is a wolf warrior himself. Yeah, he is a wolf warrior. Yeah, yeah what do we got here? Okay, we're so, going to show you something. Well, we have to explain this real quick. Yeah. This is already like dog whistle offensive because this is pro-Russia propaganda. But yeah. no, we've got to tell you why we're going to play this. Yeah, we got to show this. This has something very much in common yeah. with Chinese horrible, propaganda. crappy, like rip-off plagiarized propaganda as well. So look, yeah. so look we'll at just, what I found. Yeah, look at this. Okay, we'll watch this quickly. The Z thing really yeah. makes me sick. <laughs> well, I mean, what you've got here, first of all, is a bunch of Florence Nightingale-looking Russian <laughs> yeah, ward why nurses. Why do they get me wearing this shit? I have no idea. And they're singing this bloody annoying Sea Shack song again. Sea Shanty. Um, with, they copied the Sea Shanty They did, song. and they used the, the Z, you know, the Russian Z thing. And it's on YouTube Kids. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> How, wait a minute. Let's yeah. back up. Yeah. So we have a plagiarized Sea Shanty. Yes. Made by a New Zealand singer, very famous, which is coming up here. Yeah. That China's used to rip off for their propaganda. For Russian war propaganda. Yes. For wartime nurses. Yes. Assembling in that horrible Z formation, which is their war dog whistle, like yeah. supremacist logo. Sure. Put out by a Russia supremacist channel called Z, what is it? Z Fighters. Z Fighters. Z Fighters. Z Fighters. Z Fighters. And it's on YouTube Kids. Yeah, on YouTube Kids. <laughs> all of those things together. What a witch's brew. Yeah, exactly. So we thought we'd, we'd remind you all how China also co-opted this song for their stupid propaganda as yes. well. So let's show that. Use democracy as a cloak, a merry crossy roast the world. If any You're country on. said no, you would bash it as your foe. As of course, as you guys remember, mm -hmm. it's called The Weller Men. It's by Nathan Evans. Yeah, this is the original song seconds. for those of you who wonder why yeah. all these, these like communist ass you know, socialist countries like to steal this. I don't know why. You must be proud. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a bully of tea. Anyway, you get the idea, right? What I just have to ask, number one, Russia and China. I know Russia's not communist, well, neither is China. But authoritarian countries, sure. why... Why are you using the sea shanty to plagiarize, to yeah. make propaganda? Because everyone knows that song. It's got 110 million views on yeah. YouTube. Everyone knows that song. They're going to hear it and they're going to say, why are you doing this? Sure. Can you not make your own thing? Make your own shit. I'm surprised they're not singing like, what should we do with a drunken sailor? Yeah, right. I mean, that's next, right? Yeah. And my plea to YouTube, I mean, I know Russia and China are going to make this kind of shit. But can you stop putting war propaganda on YouTube kids? Yeah, stop allowing that. Yeah. Because yeah, last week we caught Zhao Lijian, the China's foreign ministry sp spokesman propaganda Yeah. on YouTube kids. They made a YouTube kids account so that they didn't get the state affiliated label. Yeah. Now Russia's doing it. Can you continue to take care of this, please? Yeah. It's kind exactly. of an issue. Yeah. 